You wake up in the morning and you wanna have a talk show So you film one in your bedroom and you call it Up Late Live internet wherever and whenever you are in the world and welcome to Up Late Live, a talk show filmed here in my bedroom in the beautiful Mile End of Montreal, Canada. I am your host Shane Adamzak and joining me on the show today is creator of arts blog bloodyunderrated.net and general manager of Mainline Theatre, Al LaFrance. Yeah. And we have a live performance by singer-songwriter Sarah Jane Scouton. And with me as always, because she lives here and she has to be here, my housemate Leia Rondo is here! That's me! Uh, my first guest on the show this week is a very beardy man. He is the general manager of Mainline Theatre here in Montreal and creator of arts blog bloodyunderrated.net and one third of sketch comedy troupe Flapjack Cadillac. Please make him welcome to Outlay Live, Alan France! Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Live. Would you like a Skittle? I would love a Skittle, thank Taste you. Taste the rainbow. Still working on that sponsorship. If anyone from Skittles is uh, watching, please get in contact with us. <laughs> uh, Al, I want to talk to you about bloodyunderrated.net. It's an arts and culture blog, which you started in 2010. That is correct. Why did you start the website? side? <laughs> Excuse me, the Skittles are delicious. They're really great. Uh, I started the website out of pure boredom. I was studying, and I had nothing to do in class, because... I didn't feel like listening, so I started uh, just making lists of like, like making mixtapes and stuff, just bands that I, you know, local bands that I wanted to give more exposure to, and then I started a website about underrated bands and stuff to just uh, spread the word. Very cool, and, and like there's a big uh, boom in blog culture over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is the appeal of anyone in the world being able to say anything they want about anything, no matter how stupid it is, and it potentially being read by a lot of people? Uh, I think people just really like individualized like points of view. Um, with more, a lot of the feedback I've gotten on some of the reviews and stuff, because like the, the blog moved on from being just about underrated music and to being uh, reviews of theater mostly and uh, and dance and a bunch of stuff. And people just like the non-professional setting of just being like, yeah, I saw the show. It was fucking great. Like that's that's all you have to say, really. And just the, I don't know, just not following traditional ways of talking about things. And do you think it's a good thing or a danger that potentially people with really bad opinions about things can have that opinion voiced? I don't think it's really a danger to have a bad opinion voiced. Uh, it does make them easier targets on the internet, because there's there's really, there's no censorship or no nobody stopping you from saying, like if I just rave on about a band that I hate, I will get feedback from people being like, yeah, but you're wrong. And uh, there's no harm in it. I mean, it's all just opinions. None of it means anything at all. Yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing really means anything on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to talk to you about uh, Blood and Redis Expand to, to doing some events. And one yeah. of my favorite events that happens right here in Montreal is the Alcoholic Cinema. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the Alcoholic Cinema is an event I created after I was watching uh, Jurassic Park one time at home and for like I've seen it a bunch of times so I made up a drinking game to go along with it because it's a it's a really easy movie to make along uh, a drinking game with like just every time Jeff Goldblum just says anything it looks cool you drink uh, anytime you hear trembling like you drink and so I decided I could probably do this as an event and just get a bunch of strangers to come and watch movies I love and just get smashed with me as I do it and uh, it's, it's, it's growing, it's becoming fairly popular, so I'm really happy about it. And I gotta say, I already enjoyed the early 90s film Cool As Ice, yep. the Vanilla Ice Vehicle, on its own, uh, <laughs> but watching it uh, with you making us drink continuously uh, just made it absolutely fantastic. Thank you, so I really appreciate that. that. Uh, I want to talk to you just ever so briefly about The Ballad of Frank Allen. Yep. Uh, without too much cross-promotion, it's, it's something that I write for yeah. Bloody Underrated, yeah. which is a story of a little tiny man that lives in your beard. And yeah. I just want to know... He's, he's Frank here. Yeah, I mean, I, it's something I kind of just did, and then just told you I was doing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the fact that I write a weekly story about a man that lives in your beard, often starring you? Uh, I feel great about it. I've been thinking about maybe trying to get other people to write fictionalized versions of my life. Because I don't think that my life is that interesting, but if I can get a bunch of people to write stories about how they think, uh, you know, I came to be where I am today, I think that would make a great book altogether. So it's just giving me constant ideas, just to, like, just 
it's all for me. It's just boosting my ego. Uh, before we uh, let you go, I want to play a little game. All right. Uh, you're quite well known for this uh, lovely little display mm -hmm. of uh, manliness. Thank you. I want to play a game called Beard or No Beard. All right. Uh, the way this works, uh, for those of you playing at home, <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell Al, uh, a celebrity uh, or a famous person, you tell me whether they are well known for having a beard or no beard. Okay. Okay, so let's get right into it. It's time to play Beard or No Beard. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, beard or no beard? Beard. Zach Galifianakis, beard or no beard? Beard. People compare me to him sometimes. That's justified. Elizabeth Taylor, beard or no beard? Beard. Just <laughs> not on the face. <laughs> uh, famous Australian bush ranger Ned Kelly. Oh, super beard. Super beard. Uh, the naked chef Jamie Oliver. No beard? That is absolutely correct. Uh, Dawson's Creek's Katie Holmes. <laughs> No beard. Mm, that's a trick question. She is a beard. Oh, <laughs> uh, my dad in the 70s. Oh, beard. Beard. Yeah. Fantastic beard, which he refuses to grow back, even though I know it would look amazing. And finally, uh, my grandma in the 80s. Beard. Yes, she did have a little beard. <laughs> uh, that was Beard or No Beard. This is Al Franz, you're watching Up Late Live, and we'll be right back after this. This week on Besides the Music. Take a rare look behind the scenes at iconic American pop sensation Sunny and Cher. Cher! 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 Can we have cornflakes for dinner, please? We have cornflakes for dinner. Cher, this is gonna be the cleanest bathroom. It's the cleanest bathroom just for you, Cher. I love you, Cher. Cher, I love you. Cher, I love you! Don't walk away from me, Cher! I love you! Besides the music, Tuesdays at 9. I was just thinking about beards. Uh, welcome back to Uplate Live! <laughs> uh, I'm here, I'm in bed with Al LaFrance. Now before we uh, get into the questions from the audience, yep. uh, you do have a new record. Yep. It's uh, Bruce Willis's Return of Bruno. <laughs> yep. um, this is a terrible record. Why mm -hmm. did you buy this? It is not a terrible record. It is Bruce Willis's finest work outside of everything else he's ever done. Mm, excellent. Uh, the only thing I could think worse than Bruce Willis's record is anything by Russell Crowe's band. <laughs> yes, said it! <laughs> Controversial stuff here on Uplate Live. Now, uh, we have had some questions from the audience, uh, Twitter and Facebook, uh, and email. People have sent them in. Uh, are you ready for the lightning round, Alifrance? I'm super excited. Luke from Twitter wants to know, why are burritos so good? What makes them good? Uh, everything makes them good. They're just, they're just cram-packed with deliciousness. Uh, Jillian on Twitter wants to know, how should I talk to boys? Uh, you, you just shouldn't. They're gross. <laughs> Fair call. Adam from Facebook wants to know, why didn't Frodo just fly one of those big eagles into Mordor and save himself a heap of trouble in eight hours of my life? Oh, they charge by the mile. He didn't have any money. Boom. Ben from Twitter wants to know, how do you win an argument with science? Oh, uh, you punch it in the face. Damn. Amy from Twitter wants to know, call me, maybe? <laughs> mm, only if I have to. Uh, the Tuxedo uh, Cat Bar from Twitter want to know, Kiss are touring soon. They've brought, some, uh, they've brought out some products such as ice cream and beer. Discuss. <laughs> uh, I saw Kiss live once. They were pretty great. I wouldn't pay that much to see them again. Okay. Uh, Xavier on Twitter wants to know, do you know anyone named Eugene who's happy with their life? <laughs> uh, Eugene Merman I met once. I don't really know him, but he seems pretty fucking happy. Okay, cool. Uh, Kimber on Facebook wants to know, if you were to eat yourself, would you double in size or disappear completely? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would double in size. That's, that's good science. Uh, Luke on Twitter wants to know, how do I stop hating and learn to love? And where is the aforementioned, aforementioned love? Uh, you need to just hug everybody you know, and all the lave, uh, all the lave, all the love is hiding in Sarah Jane's Captain's music. Whoa, which is coming up next. Very exciting. Uh, Kimber on Facebook wants to know, what is the most heartbreaking thing anyone has ever said to you? An actual question. Uh, this one time Shane said my beard should be shorter. Oh. Uh, ben on Twitter wants to know, how do I stop losing my gloves all the time? Is there a place they all go? Uh, you can duct tape them to everything you own. There is a place they all go. It's my house. Uh, Roz on Facebook wants to know, why can't the chicken cross the road without its motives being questioned? <sighs> that's, that's a tough one. Uh, because of its past in politics? Interesting. Well, that's all the time we have. This is being In Bed with Ala Franz. We'll be right back on Up Live. Woo! This week on Besides the Music, we look at some rare footage from behind the scenes of the life 
of Sonny and Cher. I really think everything has gotten better uh, since we've gotten famous with the Sonny and Cher show. Cher! Cher, baby, I got you that banana you asked for. I went to three stores to get it. It was a really long shot. I didn't... <laughs> As our careers have gotten better, our marriage has really uh, blossomed. Besides the music, Tuesdays at 9. Thank you guys so much for watching the show this week. Thanks to my guests, Leia Rondo and Ella Franz for being here. Bringing the show home this week is a wonderful singer-songwriter based here in Montreal. She's got a debut record. It's called Magpie Waltz. And here she is. Make her welcome. Sarah Jane Skelton! Yeah! Love you till the wheels come off. 